good day guys welcome to my youtube channel I create amazing structural engineering content wonderful content that so many young and experienced engineers will need in their job using portal structure my name is Jose Chibik, and if you are new to my channel i would like you to like comment wherever you don't understand in this video you can comment i would reply your comment also you subscribe to my channel so that you can get better and more videos on how to use portal structures up uh, even the portal detail which i'll be teaching you everything concerning portal structure and its relevant applications now today we'll be talking about how to insert a slab in a structure there are various ways of inserting a slab in a structure i'll be going about it step by step exposing the various ways in which it can be done now for that we start with clicking on the slab icon now i would want my slab depth to be 150 millimeter now for the load this is the self weight of concrete uh, for the dead load of the concrete i can choose to enter a value or i go to this option there's, a, there's an option for flat roof room um, balcony and the lower slab so let me pick room you can see a dead load has been given to us impose load i can choose to use 1.5 as my impose load and i click on update now we'll go back to general now to insert slab these are the various methods now we click on this insertion you can see there's an axis region click on axis region that's the first way of inserting you can see this is the area enclosed by an axis you can see it i click on this for the next one we can click on the beam region if you see it's almost similar to a to the axis region you can see this is an area enclosed by a beam i can choose this now the next one is pick axis you have to pay attention here because it might look a little bit confusing if you're not paying attention click on pick axis now we can go it anti-clockwise or clockwise i prefer going anti-clockwise now the first thing i do i'll pick my first axis i've picked it you can see the number i've shown the number i've shown for the axis i picked and i pick this other axis B has shown because I picked B axis and I pick this other axis I'm going clockwise then I pick this other axis and then finally I come back and or I return to the first axis I picked you can see a slab has been inserted there for us now for pick point method you can see we can pick this column pick the next column pick this column and this column we've inserted, we've inserted slab in this area this is one way of inserting slab now i'd love to show you another way of inserting slab now we come to this icon the slab column edge now we click on it you can see we have the slab column edge the line and the arc so i will pick this one to show you a way of inserting slab i click on a column I drag I click and then I right click then I use the continue with arc and I drag and I put it to this point I click again I right click and I click on finish now I go back to my slab I go back to the insertion method I would click on the beam region and I would exit this page now i just move back here and i click on it you can see a slab has been inserted for us there now another method too you go back to this icon the slab column edge icon you click the slab column edge this is an option in a case where you're drawing you were giving an arc an outer arc so this is how you insert it you click here on this column you drag to the next column click you can either move it upward or downward 
now I want to pick 1200 as the length of my with the radius of my arc so what I need to do is to hold the F2 key I delete and then I use 1200 and I hit the enter and see an arc has been created for me I go back to my slab remember it's already on the beam region so I click on this the slab has been inserted there for me now the next method I go back to this area is the slab column edge rectangle now pay attention I click on this corner I drag I click here you can see the rectangular shape has been given to us then we go back to slab and then we click on it remember your insertion has to be on the beam region now we go back to this area also let's still use this rectangular option now pay attention also i can also insert slab inside click on this column i drag and i click on this column and i hit the slab option and i click here the slab has been inserted now the last but not the least using this option is the slab edge how do you insert a circular slab maybe you have a water tank and you want the slab for the water tank to be circular you can click you can say i click on the midpoint i drag and i click at the center of the column shape has been created for me then i click on slab and i click on this you can see a slab has been inserted there now what if we want to insert a cantilever what we do generally is we go to slab and we change this type from type 1 to type 12 type 12 is a cantilever now we insert the length of the cantilever which i want to be 1200 millimeter and i click on this point drag it to this point and i have inserted a cantilever similar to the rectangular form i used here now let me also insert at this point to another cantilever you can see let me try inserting at this other point cantilever click on ok you can see I've inserted at this point and at this point and the reason why i think the reason why this did not form this angle over here is that i think the length of this and this is different so that is just it now you can see that there are various methods in which we can insert slab and i have explained the various methods to you so i would want you to go out there try 